Hello YouTube! Today we're going to have a little bit of a different kind of video. Now, I've been looking on eBay for years. I've bought on eBay, sold on eBay, Etsy, all that fun stuff. A lot of you guys are making, in my opinion as a reseller, some very, very big mistakes. So in today's video, we're going to talk about those mistakes. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks. If you like the content, please like, comment, subscribe. If you agree, disagree, put it in the comments. And keep in mind, what works for me may not work for you. You may have a different idea. That's cool. This is just my opinion. So today, we're going to have five. So the first one is selling two cheap items. So let me explain. This is my Dr. Seuss book. Had it when I was a child. Open the page. Book belongs to Charles. My book. Now, on eBay, this sells for this. That's not even the sold listing. That's just what it's on for, $2.99. Now, uh, the first mistake is about selling stuff too cheap is your time is money. You're to list this book, you're going to be a minimum five, 10 minutes. Take photos, write a description, delivery details, minimum five minutes. Now, to package the item, you're going to be minimum five minutes. Put it in an envelope, put stamps, however you do it, write address, print off an address label, however you do it, you're going to be five minutes. So minimum to sell this book, you're going to be 10, 20 minutes worth of time, probably a little bit longer. If you're fast, 10 minutes. After $3, let's say you make a dollar shipping, I think it was $4, you're going to make, let's say $4 off the sale. eBay takes 13%. Now you're down to three something. You know, 20 minutes worth of time to make $3, not worth it. If this, this is my book, if I were to sell it, I would either A, give it away. Somebody I know with a kid, give it to them. B, donate it. This, not worth your time. Even if I had 10 of these, I would just donate them that, you know, my personal minimum, I don't list anything for under $30 because my time to list it, ship it, answer questions, any sorts of issues, take photos is worth time and a couple dollar items. I see you guys doing this all the time. I recommend don't doing it. Also, too, this video is not going to be about um, descriptions, titles, photos. You guys can figure that out on yourself. Everybody has a smartphone. Not too hard. Now, next item is buying too large of items. This is bubble wrap. I bought this for my shipping. This item is big and bulky. Now, a lot of you guys buy just these huge, huge items. I don't just because my space is limited. I have, you know, a couple hundred square feet. I don't have a full basement. I don't have like extra bedrooms. I can just throw this stuff in. Um, that's why I never, ever, ever buy anything this large. Keep in mind too, when something's this large, you, it takes way, it takes a lot of time to pack it, stuff it in a bag, put it in a box, put it in your trunk buying it too you have to pull this around the thrift store put it in your trunk it's big bulky uncomfortable don't do it and in large items too a lot of stuff can break there's just more to go wrong for example if you guys are new to the channel i deal in watches they're small i deal in jewelry it's small yesterday i bought a knife it's small I bought a Zippo lighter. It's small. If you still don't get the point, if now I'll show you why. These are some of the watches I have for sale right now. As you can see, I think this is three feet by 18 inches, I think. 18 inches high, I don't know. But that box, that box, that tub, that tub. This one's not even that full, little full. Little full, pretty full. There's about 500 watches, all listed, all for sale, within like a two by two foot space. 
So you can have 500 watches in a two by two space or this. The choice is yours. The next number three mistake a lot of you guys unfortunately make is using eBay auctions. Now, let me be clear. I've made this mistake. I started out on eBay. I thought, oh, cool. I'm going to go auctions, get rid of this stuff faster. Now, if you guys want to buy anything, use eBay auctions. This stuff goes for very, very, very cheap. If you guys are in eBay auctions too, you get rid of this stuff for sure. That in a week, somebody will bid, buy it, gone, in and out. However, I'm going to tell you guys not to because the amount of money you will lose is absolutely astonishing. I have bought, I buy eBay auctions probably five, six or a week. I look for sellers that don't know this. Then I buy stuff from them. Then I turn around and sell it on eBay and Etsy. It's not that hard. Let me show you guys an example. I bought this watch. Two weeks later, I sold the watch. Now, I've done this countless, countless, countless times with people. Please, please, please stop using eBay auctions. I mean, um, go buy it now. Then at least you control the final price. With eBay auctions, you have virtually no control. Number four, try not to be an everything seller. Try to specialize in items. For example, we all know those eBay sellers. I sell pins. I sell leather wax. I sell electronics. I sell books. I sell screwdrivers. I sell everything on eBay. My opinion, stay away from that. Um, from what I've found, I've talked to quite a few of you guys. I've met a lot of you guys in thrift stores, other resellers. A lot of you guys have reached out to me on social media. I've met some of you guys in thrift stores and the people that I found that are successful that make a full-time living tend to specialize in certain niches. Only buys and sells electronics. Only buys and sells clothes. That way you have a very, very deep knowledge about one field. That's good because thrifting Everybody knows a little bit about a lot of things. For example, calculators, the Texas Instruments. When I was in university, I used to sell those weekly. Pick them up for $2, sell them for $50, $60. Now, you can't find them. And I found too, any sort of brand name clothing, like uh, Polo, Levi's, they're now charging $10, $12 a shirt. There's no money at that price. Um, you have to be one of those people that know hidden brands like um, Eaton, Tom Ford, Salvatore Ferragamo. Just really, really niche brands that are crazy expensive that you can flip for a lot of money. And a lot of buyers, I talked about watches, they don't like buying, you know, a specialty product from somebody that doesn't know watches. Um, when I buy watches on eBay to flip, I look for sellers that don't have any other watches listed. Or that are thrift stores, charity shops that sell on eBay that don't deal in watches. That's what I look for as a reseller. So if you're going to sell multiple things, that's fine. But at least sell what you know. And have an idea. I deal in this, I deal in this, I deal in this. When I'm in a thrift store and I meet an everything seller, it's usually a guy that does this part-time for fun that really doesn't run that great of an eBay store. And it's more just to tell people, oh yeah, I'm an eBay reseller. Keep that in mind. The last mistake I see a lot of people making is to do with pricing. Now we can talk all day about how to price, um, how to set your prices, um, most of my ads, I do accept best offer. I know a lot of you guys don't do that. That's something in the future I may get away from. I know there's a whole debate on that. I do it just because there's 1.8 billion items for sale on eBay. So to try to, you know, drive sales. But a lot of people, they look at and they price and they buy their items under what's listed for sale. Not what's sold. 
So on the right hand side, scroll down to sold listings and click the arrow to sold. That way you can see what the item actually sells for. The benefit is under active listings, you will see them for $2, $30, $40, $50. $50. And they can be all over the map. I find when you go to sold, you can then, it's usually a lot closer. Then you'll say, okay, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So I negotiate with somebody. I say, look, it sells for 10. What's it going to take for me to buy it today? And a lot of people I know, they look under active listings and they think, oh, people are asking 30. I'm going to pay 10. Don't do that. So that wraps up the video. Thanks for watching. If you have, if you like this content, want anything else, want me to add anything, let me know in the description. I always read and any comment I always respond to. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you. See you on the next one.